Here's part two of the Motion Reality Dauntless demo. And here you can see the demo at the HP booth with the screens overhead for viewing. Here's a couple people getting suited up first with the ankle and knee art. These pieces essentially have tracking markers on both. They just strap on and pretty much will fit anyone. Heck, they fit me, so. And those are the elbow markers. And then there's gloves with markers on those as well. You can see in the ceiling, as these guys finish getting suited up, you can see the mocap lights, and that's me suited up to try it out. This is one of the handguns. Yeah, it's 3D printed. This is the other side, and the bright blobs are tracking markers. This is actually an all-metal airsoft gun made with tracking markers and a recoil system. And here's someone taking the head-mounted display. And here they go, getting ready for calibration. The calibration on this is much faster and easier than most mocap systems I've ever seen. And there's someone in calibration pose. That's it, that's the calibration. And checking it, this is calibrating it to the robot instead of the person because there's, they had two different demos. One was a shoot house and one was a robot game. <laughs> this is what it looks like when people are actually in it. The interesting thing about the Dauntless system is it can be flipped and reversed so you don't realize that you're walking over the exact same space. Well, they you essentially you step in a room, they close the door, and you step back out and it looks like you're going in a different direction. This is about the smallest that the Dauntless system is set up for. It's really meant for much larger systems. They can go as large as essentially a basketball court. This is what the operator sees. He can look through anyone's eyes for their own pre-placed cameras. There's the two players and being led by the instructor. And they're firing. The guns have a little bit of a recoil counterweight, so there is a little bit of a kick to them. And you can look down, see your own body, see your own hands. And there's systems very, very low latency. I couldn't notice any. I was paying too much attention to what I was doing. Moving. This is the shoe house again. And of course, the head mounted display has headphones on it, so you're hearing sounds. This version was using Unreal, but they're switching to Unity in the future. Well, by now, they've already switched to it. This is kind of a case of you can tell who's handled a firearm before and who hasn't. But see that area? That is one of the areas where it's set up for them to switch around the environment. And they basically flip it around so you can move through, keep moving through the environment and turn around and walk that way. That's it. They flip the entire environment around them.
Yes, there are stairs. Stepping up stairs is interesting, to say the least. This is the robot game again. Where basically instead of guys in a shoot house, it's robots in a city because they're essentially showing its potential for location-based entertainment instead of military training. They are not opposed to it being used for location-based entertainment. Each of the players at this point has a HP ZBR strapped onto their back and it's quite adequate and performs very well and it's an amazing portable VR system. If you'd like to keep abreast of the latest workstation releases, industry news, watch tutorials and reviews, please hit the subscribe button below and hit the little bell and you'll be alerted whenever we have a new post here at Workstation Works.